Jamaica's world and Olympic champion, Omar McLeod, and 800-meter queen, Natoya Ghoul, are ready for Penn Relays 2022. Welcome back to the channel, people. Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, thank you for making it Peter Lloyd World. Now go ahead, please hit that subscribe button. When you do that, go in and hit the notification bell so you know when the next video drops. We drop a video at least once a day here on Peter Lloyd World. Also, if you enjoy the content, please hit the like button. And finally, leave your thoughts. Let me know if you are as excited as we are about Omar McLeod and Natoya Gould repping for the great jamaica at pen relays when you're ready yep good to go starting april 28th to april 30th the world famous pen relays is back and amongst the glittering stars of the track and field world are two of jamaica's very very best repping for the island the one and only world and olympic champion over the 110 meter hurdles the remarkable omar mcleod and the 800 meter queen presently ranked i believe number four in the world over the 800 meters the one and only natoya ghoul earlier in 2022 in the indoor season we first saw the one and only omar mcleod running at the mirrors games in the 60 meter dash i was a little surprised by that but i suspect he was working on his speed take a quick look at that race of course he didn't win but like i said he was simply working on his speed Omar McLeod, who is considered one of the top four athletes over the 110 meter hurdles, presently is also the national record holder at 7.41 over the 60 meter hurdles, which he set in Portland in 2016. McLeod at the pen relays will be lined up against this young man, USA hurdler Devon Allen. Omar McLeod is the 2016 Olympic Games 110 meter hurdles gold medalist and the fourth ranked male in the event this season with a 13.27 seconds run. Uh, he will go up against, against this young man, the world leader Devon Allen, as I pointed out, of the United States. Allen, who recently signed. Uh, to play professional football in the National Football League, NFL, for the Philadelphia Eagles, Eagles clocked a world-leading time of 13.12 seconds in Maryland on April 23rd, the same day that Jamaican uh, hurdler Hansel Parchment, the Tokyo Olympic champion, clocked 13.20 on his debut in Kingston at the Velocity Fest 11 meet. are watching Omar McLeod become world champion over the 110 meters hurdles at the world championships in 2017. McLeod of course has been having a great year recently. He had set a world lead which I told you earlier but it was uh, erased of course by our very own Parchment and Devon Allen as I stated, uh, stated earlier. Now also repping for Jamaica is the 800 meter queen herself the one and only Natoya Ghoul. Ghoul will be competing in the rarely run women's 600 meters. The Olympic Games finalist, who is a darling of Penn Relay's fans as a high school and collegiate athlete, will match up stride for stride against United States' Aji Wilson and Othing Mo. 
Earlier in the year, during the indoor season, Gould scored several wins and one or two world lead. Here she is at the New Balance where she won earlier this year indoors. After this win, Gould went on to win once again in Paris in Levin. She has been having a very, very impressive um, 2022 run so far, people. But the upcoming games, I think, will be her official outdoor season run. Here she is in Levin, Paris. Now, 2021 was a mixed sort of blessing for Natalia Gould. We had anticipated her being on the podium in the finals of the women's 800 meters at the Tokyo Olympic Games, but it simply was not to be. In fact, she, I mean, she wasn't even in the top four, I believe, or five. She, people should have didn't run her race and um, she just miscalculated that these things do happen occasionally um but as i say so far she has been looking good um in the 2022 season at 11 in france 2022 natoya gould set a new world leading time of 1.58.58 of course this is no longer the world leading time but it was a remarkable thing that she was able to do this in fact, she had, I believe, a very successful world indoor season. Gould is one of a handful of athletes, uh, female athletes over the 800 meters, who have been consistently running sub two minutes here at the Euler Grand Prix in Birmingham earlier this year indoors she came fourth but still managed to run a sub two minute time i think she ran one minute uh, 59 seconds Now, in her last recorded indoor race, she finished fourth in the women's 800 meter final. This is in Belgrade, Serbia at the World Indoor Athletics Championships um, at the Stark Arena in Belgrade. She had led for most of the race, but again, she ended up in fourth. Now, alongside Omar McLeod and, of course, uh, at Natalia Gould will be Alison Felix. Andre Wilson, um, Offing Mo, and this young lady, McLaughlin. This is going to be a very, very exciting pen release, people, and I'm excited that two of Jamaica's best will be there to represent. Of course, other Jamaican athletes will be there. So, there you have it. Um, two of our very, very best are going to be at pen relays doing their very very best and we are hoping for the best for them as they rep for the country and of course themselves now don't forget to hit the subscribe button so we can continue to grow your peter lloyd world um when you do that go ahead and hit the notification bell hit that like button if you enjoy the content and please never forget that you are kings and queens bless up